Christmas Eve many years ago, I lay quietly in my bed. I did not rustle the sheet. I breathed slowly and silently. I was listening for song. The sound of fright had told me I never hear. The ringing bells of Santa's sleigh. There is no Santa, my friend had insisted. But I knew he was wrong. Yeah. 
Villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced northward. Soon there were no more lights to be seen. We traveled through cold, dark forests where lean wolves roamed and white tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the quiet wilderness. Oh, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. 
one of the children. The elves! Outside, we saw hundreds of elves. As our train drew closer to the center of the North Pole, we slowed to a crawl. So crowded were the streets with Santa's helpers. When the Polar Express could go no farther, we stopped and the conductor led us outside. We pressed through the crowd to the edge of a large open circle. In front of us stood, stood Santa's sled. The reindeer were excited. They pranced and paced ringing the silver sleigh bells that hung from their harnesses. It was a magical sound, like nothing I ever heard.
I knew that I could have any gift I could imagine. But the thing I wanted most for Christmas was not inside Santa's giant bag. What I wanted more than anything was one silver bell from Santa's sleigh. When I asked, Santa smiled. Then he gave me a hug and told an elf to cut a bell from a reindeer's harness. The elf tossed it up to Santa. He stood holding the bell high above him and called out, the first gift of Christmas. A clock struck midnight as the elves roared their approval. Santa handed the bell to me and I put it in my bathrobe pocket. The conductor helped me down from the sleigh. Santa shouted out to the reindeer's names and cracked his whip. His team charged forward and climbed into the air. Santa circled once above us, then disappeared in the cold, dark, polar sky. Christmas Eve. 
Thank you. 